So a few weeks ago, the internet was abuzz with the rumors of a potential Switch Pro. Rumors that have been around for a good long while, but this time it was different. Everything seemed to come together in early June, and this thing was mere moments from an official announcement. It's coming today, or before E3, or at E3. Reliable sources told us that this is happening. But E3 was here and gone, and no Switch Pro came along. Many called shenanigans. Maybe this was a simple misunderstanding. Otherwise, trustworthy sources may have heard from unreliable leakers. Or maybe Nintendo simply cancelled the plans last minute. It was all up in the air, and I was working on a script discussing all this at length. But then... Today, on July 6th, the reality of the situation became clear. There was a new Nintendo Switch, but it was not the Nintendo Switch Pro. It was the Nintendo Switch, parentheses, OLED model, and parentheses. And it kind of sucks. So the Switch, the OLED model, is a standard Nintendo Switch with a slightly larger OLED display. OLED is a technology that makes colors pretty and contrast infinite. It's been used in phones for nearly a decade, and even the ill-fated PS Vita originally launched with an OLED panel. Beyond that, uh, the back flap has been improved. And it has enhanced audio, whatever that means. Also, there's an Ethernet port. Now, this is not the Switch Pro. Well, it is, but it isn't the Switch Pro that people expected. Not in the vein of an Xbox One X or a PS4 Pro. There's no internal changes that can make this thing go faster. Games will not look better, and developers can't take advantage of anything they couldn't before. As soon as the Switch itself launched, people expected an upgrade sooner or later, because this tech was somewhat dated. It was based on a chipset from 2015, which is now six years old. It's all powered by the Tegra X1 chip. And some games look good, but the ports of third-party AAA titles have shown major limitations for the machine. Apex Legends, at best, hits 720p on the Switch, but most of the time, it's not even a high definition. On handheld mode, it's never high definition. It's not HD. In 2021, a game that's not HD. HD. This is somewhat expected for a handheld device based on six-year-old technology attempting to run games that, well, are built for better technology. The divide between old and new processors and game engines has just become too much for the Switch to handle. This was entirely predictable by everybody. Everyone saw it coming, and the idea was that eventually the Switch would see a major upgrade in response. While the Switch OLED doesn't uh, have a new chip, it's still the Tegra X1. It also doesn't have an increase in RAM. It still has 4 gigabytes. So the biggest question then is why did Nintendo decide to release this? in 2021. See, the Nintendo Switch Pro was an odd rumor, because it was one that kind of had to happen. It has been reported that the Tegra X1 chip is so old that it's ending production this year. Now that's a big deal. It means no more Nintendo Switches. Originally, the Switch Pro was deemed a necessity because of this. Because without it, without a new chipset for a new Switch, this whole hardware line would just die, right? But as we can see, the new Switch still uses that chipset. It's still based on chips that end production this year. Well, there's an answer to the seemingly illogical decision. According to a report by Nikkei, Nintendo has ordered the production of 30 million Nintendo Switch units for this year. Now, they will not sell 30 million Switches in a year. They didn't even during the, the whole lockdown era. So why order that many? Well, it makes sense if the Tegra X1 chip is uh, ending production. So they're effective ordering all future Nintendo Switches right now. We don't have a distinction between 30 million normal Switches or 15 million light Switches or how many are OLED models, but 30 million units would put the lifetime sales of the Nintendo Switch at 110 million units, which is, well, more than the Wii. It's very likely this is the last Nintendo Switch. This is the end of the Switch life cycle, and this is a swan song of sorts. 
But if so, why make a new device at all? Why not just stick with the core switch? Well, simply, they ordered the OLED panels a long time ago. So at some point between the start of the year and now, Nintendo likely decided that a new Switch model with a new chipset wasn't worth doing. This means Nintendo is likely cutting the Switch lifecycle short, or shorter than they anticipated. The Switch OLED simply exists to use those panels that were already ordered, and any other manufacturing components that went into the process. After all, if they can't produce X1 chips after this year, you kind of just need to get all of that out of the way right now. In a year or two, when all the Switches are sold and no more can be produced, then we might see a proper Switch Pro with a new NVIDIA-based chipset while keeping the same OLED panels, or a new hardware line entirely. Given Nintendo's reign into multimedia, it's also possible third party could be the direction they go. We don't know what will happen once all the Nintendo Switches are sold, but we do know that right now, well, the Switch is kind of over. No new chipset means there's no need to have grand sweeping changes to online infrastructure or add a virtual console or improve those uh, Joy-Con drifting issues. The Switch OLED seems to be Nintendo saying, uh, that's it, go home. You gotta think, in two years, if all the Nintendo Switches are sold, well, that would be perfectly in line for a new piece of hardware, if it ever comes. Nintendo seems unwilling to drop the price on the Switch, and I don't think they'll drop it anytime soon. Because after all, if there's only 30 million units left, well, I'm sure they could sell those even if it takes two years. The fact that this machine is $50 less than a PS5 and $50 more than an Xbox Series S puts it at a really odd position. It might not sell that well, but they also might only have a few million to sell anyway. After going through all of this data, it seems like the final piece of the puzzle of the Switch Pro Canon was this. Nintendo is done with the Switch, but they just had to get rid of those OLED panels. So, uh, there you go. This isn't a great device, but it's kind of just a necessity from excess, uh, components. Well, that sounds a lot more boring when you say it like that, isn't it? <laughs>